My name is D. Lanier Shook and I am the information collector. Today I'm in Asheville, North Carolina at the corner of Brevard Road and Sardis Road. And what I want to show you is the Asheville Exchange. A uh, very nice apartment development. And the reason I'm pointing it out is this area is booming and once the economy picks back up it will be booming even more the Asheville outlet is just across Brevard Road the uh, there's a new Dollar Tree just down the road and another reason I wanted to highlight this right across from me there's an old Kmart it just emptied out a year or two ago up from me there's a Toys R Us that is obviously empty. Plenty of room for development. You can see the uh, miniature storage there. Once again, this will be available for development. So, this is an amazing area. Yes, Merle, I'm hurrying. Keep your feet, keep your feet on the ground. You wore the wrong jacket. Anyway, uh, last week, Russia and Belarus reached an agreement concerning oil exports through Russian ports. These exports have been occurring through the ports of Baltic Sea nations. The negotiations also concerned construction of a Baltic Sea terminal in Russia to export oil and potash fertilizer from Belarus. The Russian Minister of Energy, Alexander Novak, said, quote, Dialogue over the creation of common oil, gas, and electricity markets, end quote, were also occurring. Last week, the Department of State held a briefing about diplomatic efforts to limit Iranian nuclear ambitions. Senior State Department officials repeated the Biden administration's intent to resume diplomatic discussions with the Tehran government, especially to move Iran into compliance with the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. Now, they downplayed expectations and uh, discouraged Tehran from evicting international nuclear inspectors. Uh, they stated that everything is on the table. Um, any meeting format and setting will be determined by the United States European Union partners, according to these officials. The uh, briefing probably had something to do with the announcement of the removal of travel restrictions of Iranian diplomats at the United Nations. Although, the officials strongly denied making concessions. They defended the initial diplomatic approach by suggesting that four years of hardland policy have failed. We are one month into this administration. It will be interesting to see what happens. Last Thursday, Deutsche Bank announced the launch of an online payment app through 2C2P, a global company based in Singapore and Thailand.
This business application allows real-time data monitoring and involves mobile banking, ATMs, and apps to be used for installment payments, currency conversion, and mobile bill pay. Um, their partner, 2C2P, has 400,000 payment touch points in Asia. The touch point is a place where the buyer and the seller meet. I don't think it's actual physical touch point. Uh, 30 partners in global banking in 10 regional markets. The release mentioned the quote, changing payment landscape in Thailand, end quote. Now this is a very important development that has been occurring for years. Here in the United States, we have and have had a strong banking infrastructure for nearly a century. But in a lot of the world, cell phones have been used for banking uh, well before the technology arrived here. Last Monday, Boeing announced a partnership between the company and the University of Queensland to develop virus fighting surface coatings in space and here on Earth. The viruses they will be combating include COVID-19. Um, this is part of Boeing's Confident Travel Initiative and was tested Earthside on their Eco Demonstration Jet. The substances tested on the ISS compared treated and non-treated objects that are on airliners for resistance to viruses. Last Tuesday, the European Space Agency announced the opening of a new recruiting campaign for astronauts. For the first time in a decade, the agency is accepting applications for new astronaut training. Um, for the first time, this will be open to individuals with certain levels of physical disability. And I suspect this has more to do with technology development than it does with social mores. Um, new technology has allowed individuals with physical disabilities so much physical latitude in activities. Um, and the application process opens on March 31st and runs through May the 28th. In a press release from last Saturday, the office of Mexican President Obrador shared the president's visit to inaugurate a new National Guard base in Tijuana.
Attendees included the Governor of Baja, California, the Commander of Mexico's National Guard, the Secretary of the Mexican Navy, the Commander of the Second Military Zone, and the Secretary of Citizen Security and Protection. Uh, the Tijuana Barracks is the 150th completed of 248 planned, 51 of which are currently under construction by the Mexican Army Engineers. Um, in his comments, President Obrador assured Baja Californians there would be no shortage of vaccines. And mentioned that at the moment they have allocated 32 billion peso to provide vaccines to their citizens. 